What's up guys? This is my 1968 Chevy C30 tow truck. My friends have affectionately nicknamed this truck Mater for obvious reasons. This is a cool, cool truck. I actually hate to sell this thing, but I'm building a hot rod and I need the money to finish the hot rod. This is the car I'm trying to finish. This truck runs absolutely perfect. It starts up every single time. Dead cold, it'll start right up. It runs great. It's got a Holmes 400 wrecker body on it and the winch works great. We just used it the other day to move a lift around the shop. I wouldn't tow a car with it just because you can see it's kind of rusty um, and it's old. But if you got to like move stuff around the shop or lift things, lift engines out of cars, it's great for that. There's an extension for the, uh, for the rooster head right there so that it puts the boom way out. But the winch works great. And I have a sling for it too and the sling goes with it. The sling goes in the back right there. It hooks to these pins right here and it goes in the back. But it works. The truck's got brand, brand, brand new wheels and tires on it. They probably don't even have 100 miles on them. And believe it or not, this thing gets a ton of attention wherever it goes. People love it. Uh, I actually have a visor that goes in the windshield with eyeballs to make it look like Mater. Uh, and everybody loves that, and that goes with the truck. It's right back here. And that's what those suction cups in the windshield are for. That's for hanging that thing. Interior's in good shape. You can see we have a severe addiction to energy drinks. These are some parts that go with it. This is the... Uh, just the cover for where the radio goes, I guess. And there's the gas pedal, the gas pedal fell off. There's just the knob there for the gas. The seat's in good shape. There's a rip on the driver's side, but it's not, it's not horrible. It does need rocker panels. It does need cab corners. They're dirt cheap on LMC. Uh, the bottoms of the insides of the doors had a little bit of rot, but they're not horrible. It's pretty fixable. Overall though, the cab is pretty solid. Like the outsides of the doors are nice. The fenders are nice. The hood is really nice. The frame is mint on it. All the glass is good. The door glass is there. It's just today's like the first nice day of the year. So we were driving around with the windows down. But the door glass is all nice and they're obviously they were open down. Bottom of the driver door, same thing. A little bit rotted on the bottom there. But overall, the rest of it is in good shape. Same thing as the other side. Needs a rocker panel. They're like 20 something bucks on LMC. Cab corner. The bed is another story. The bed is obviously rusty and patched in different places somebody put this pickup bed on it over the wrecker body so we were gonna try to find another step side bed to put over it you could do a lot of things with this truck you could you could make it a flat bed you could keep it as a tow truck and restore it that way it's, there's a ton ton of things you can do the truck has a lot of potential it's got a posi rear end it is a one ton truck I'll show you the underneath there's a little bit old mud right there that's vintage antique mud but you can see the frame is solid. There's no holes in it or anything like that. It's not rotted. The structure in this truck is all good to go. It only has one, uh, one dolly. Not that I would use them anyways, but these are the old school dollies right here. Frame on this side, just like the other side. Nice and solid. A four speed manual transmission with a granny gear. Sorry about the plane. I guess parking next to the airport wasn't the uh, greatest idea. The truck has 65,919 miles showing on the odometer. Uh, we drive the truck all the time, so the miles are going to go up. You know, they're not going to go up a thousand or anything like that, but they might go up a couple hundred miles. Uh, the gauge, the odometer works, and the speedometer does work too. Start up so you guys can hear it run. It literally starts right up like that every single time, even when it's dead cold. The gas gauge works. It literally fires right up. The truck runs off. Awesome. You got to pull the choke when it's cold, and then let it run with the choke on for 30 seconds. Push the choke off, and then it's good to go. The blower motor works. The heat works. You know, you can turn the heat on. You can. I don't know if you can hear it, but the blower motor kicks on.
there she is. If you have any questions, give me a call, email me. I'd be happy to answer any questions. If you're local to Meriden, Connecticut, come see the thing in person, take it for a ride. It's a cool, cool truck. Like I said, I hate to get rid of the thing, but I gotta finish this hot rod and I can't really keep everything. Sort of have an addiction to cars and it's getting out of control. So she's off to the next person, but this is a great, great truck.